Hi, today I'm going to make corsages of paper flowers, a lovely addition to your dresses. Materials I'm going to use are green crepe paper, peach colored crepe paper, you can take any color that you like, green floral tape, thin wire and a ribbon matching with the crepe paper. All the measurements are in centimeter. This is for the center of the rose. This is 2.5 by 2.5 centimeter. Cut one piece. This is of a petal A. This is 5 centimeter high and 4 centimeter wide. Cut three pieces. This is for the petal B. This is 6.5 centimeter by 5 centimeter. Cut five pieces. This is of the sepal. Cut three, uh, cut one piece. This is three centimeter by three centimeter, and this is of the fern. This is seven point five centimeter high by three point five centimeter. Cut five pieces. This is the all the pieces cut together for the rose. Now take the thin wire and cut out nine centimeters of it. Like so. Now make the rows according to the instructions given here. I mean, I have given the link to my video which shows you how to show the make the rows. So this is how the rose would look with the sepals. Now this rose is slightly smaller and uh, with lesser petals than the one I have given the instructions for. So just make it according to that and uh, the stencils I have already given. Now cut out a piece of tape, stretch it and wind it from the sepal till the end of the wire. Like this. I have made another rose like this in the same way. The colors are slightly reversed. So and this is slightly smaller than this. Now take the piece for the fern. First just sort of fold it in half. So that you know where the uh, center line is. And then just cut out triangular pieces on it. Leaving a bit in the center as the margin. Like this. Cut on both sides of the petal and facing this way. So this is how it will look. Now I have cut another 9 cm long piece from the thin wire. Take the green tape and stretch it and wind this on the whole length of the thin wire. Apply glue in the center of the leaf about halfway till the end like so and stick this wire that we prepared on it. And then just wrap the stem around the tape around the wire sorry so this is how the leaf would look now just sort of first curl the part which is not stuck to the wire and curl the wire also if you want give it that curvature and very gently curl the curl the leaves of the fern So this is how it will look. I made others in the same way like so. Cut a slightly long piece from the floral wire, floral tape. Just 
much and stretch it. Now first organize the flowers. So I am just going to take the roses and put them together like so. Then you arrange the ferns around it. So you can have a have one slightly in the front and keep a few at the back also slightly higher than the roses like that then on the other side also mm. not too high the height of the leaf behind the rose should be just slightly like about an inch or so above the flowers so you have a little posy like this now take the green tape and since there is so many wires it's better to apply glue on the green tape a bit so that sticks really well and wind the tape till the end of the wire if you have any extra it's always better to wind more here because we don't want anybody getting hurt so wind a little more at the bottom of the uh, stem now just sort of take a stem uh, take a pencil and wind the bottom of the corsage on it of the stem so you get a curl like this just twist it around so it shows like this and here's how the now cut a piece from the satin ribbon and then just tie a bow on the corsage in the front and this is how it look a very pretty cute little corsage you can position the ferns try not to have too much in front I have made others like this in the same way and I have scaled down the flowers like for instance this is of calla lily and this has been scaled down similarly with the succulent and these are mogra flowers